Okay, let's do one more just so I can hammer in the fact that there is no, nothing to be scared of if we have more terms and we uh, in our in our uh, either in our formula in terms of number of assets or more terms in our formula in terms of number of states. All that means is that we're going to have extra terms in the formulas themselves. Okay, so hopefully this isn't scary by now. If you've watched the first two examples, we now have a world where there are four possible states: boom normal, slow down, and recession, right? So good and average and slightly bad and then bad. And of course, in a, this isn't even close to real world, right? In the real world, there are an infinite number of possible futures. There's good and slightly better than that and sl slightly worse than that and normal and everything in between. But uh, for us, we, uh, we are gonna have a, a discrete set of potential outcomes. Okay. So we have our, uh, we're, this time I'm not gonna expand the term, I'm just gonna assume that we all can follow along. So we want the return, expected return of stock ABC. And the expected return is the probability weighted actual return, right? Which means we multiply each of the probabilities times each of the actual returns. And we'll start with the boom state, which occurs with a probability of 25% and has an actual return for ABC of 15%. Plus the normal state, which occurs with a 50% probability and has an 8% actual return. Plus the slowdown state, which has a 15% probability of occurring and ABC will have a 4% return if it does occur. Finally, the recession state, which has a 10% probability and ABC has a negative 3% return in the recession. Do our algebra correctly here and get 0 0.0805 for an expected return of 8.05%. Right. The variance is the probability weighted difference between the actual return and the expected returns. So the variance of ABC, the variance of the return of ABC is the probability of each state. So there's a 25% probability of a boom times the difference between the actual return in that state and the expected return of ABC squared, plus a 50% chance of a normal state times the difference between the actual return in the normal state, which is 8%, and the expected return, which is 8.05% squared plus a 15% chance of a slowdown times the difference between the actual return and the slowdown, which is 4%, and the expected return squared. Finally, there is a 10% probability of a recession times the difference between the actual return, negative 3%, minus the expected return, 0 0.0805 squared. Do our algebra correctly and calculate the variance of the return on ABC to be 0 0.002674. And then the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So the standard deviation for ABC is the square root of 0 0.002674. And that is 0 0.0517 or 5.17%.